are sinners who have given their love to false gods. What, no mention of dessert? Surely this is a miracle. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over. In the name of Andraste, Bride of the Maker, be welcome in this house. I've heard that somewhere before. Did you need something else? May the light of the Maker guide your steps. You should be named Maleficar, a cursed one. They shall find no rest in this world or beyond. As there is but one world, one life, one death, there is but one God, and He is our Maker. They are sinners who have given them. Men are the work of our nature's hands. From the Thank the Maker. We need help. They attacked the wagon. Please help us. Follow me. I'll take you to them. enemies ahead. I would wake up dead, or not wake up at all, as the case may be. But I see you haven't killed me yet.
Of that, I have no doubt. You are most skilled. If you haven't killed me, however, you must have kept me alive for some purpose, yes? Ah, so I am to be interrogated. Let me save you some time. My name is Zevran. Zev to my friends. I am a member of the Antivan Crows, brought here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens, which I have failed at, sadly. A rather taciturn fellow in the capital. Logan, I think his name was. Yes, that's it. I have no idea what his issues are with you. The usual, I imagine. You threaten his power, yes? Beyond that, no, I am not loyal to him. I was contracted to perform a service. Oh, well, that's between Loghain and the Crows, and between the Crows and myself. Isn't that what we're establishing now? I wasn't. If I had succeeded, I would have returned home and the Crows would have informed your Loghain of the results, if he didn't already know. If I had failed, I would be dead, or I should be, at least, as far as the Crows are concerned. No need to see Loghain, then. An order of assassins, of course, out of Antiva. I suppose you wouldn't hear much of them out here, but where I come from, we're rather infamous. Not precisely. I was in the neighborhood when the offer came. The crows get around, you see. <laughs> Why not? I wasn't paid for silence. Not that I offered it for sale, precisely. Oh, very true. Thus, there's no reason for me not to tell you everything, is there? As it is, if you're done with the interrogation, I have a proposal for you, if you're of a mind. Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause, so let me serve you instead. To be completely honest, I was never given much of a choice regarding joining the Crows. They bought me on the slave market when I was a child. I think I paid my worth back to them plus tenfold. The only way out, however, is to sign up with someone they can't touch. Even if I did kill you now, they might just kill me on principle for failing the first time. Honestly, I'd rather take my chances with you. Well, let's see. Being allowed to live would be nice, and would make me marginally more useful to you. And somewhere down the line, if you should decide that you no longer have need of me, then I go on my way. Until then, I am yours. Is that fair? I happen to be a very loyal person. Up until the point where someone expects me to die for failing? That's not a fault, really, is it? I mean, unless you are the sort who would do the same thing. In which case, I don't come very well recommended, I suppose. Why? Because I am skilled at many things, from fighting to stealth and picking locks. I could also warn you should the Antivan Crows attempt something more sophisticated, now that my attempts have failed. I also know a great many jokes. Twelve massage techniques, six different card games. I do wonderful at parties, no? What? You're taking the assassin with us now? Does that really seem like a good idea? 